not eating. I was watching Nancy Grace the other night and I heard her call Creighton pale and gaunt <laughs> because Creighton wasn't eating and sleeping. He really wasn't, folks. I'm, I'm serious. So, you know, we, we would have to bring him kind bars and things to eat during breaks. But Creighton, Herculean effort, my friend. And I, I, am, I am truly honored to have you on our team. Thank you for being a great leader and a great chief prosecutor. And I would like to invite you to come up here and make some remarks for the folks here tonight. Thanks, everybody. And uh, <clears throat> I want to start by thanking this guy who's given me and all these folks behind us uh, opportunities to do justice, which is what we want to do with our careers. Uh, it is uh, very tough and demanding, but it's rewarding for moments like these. Uh, the general stole a lot of my lines, but I also want to thank uh, the jurors for their long and arduous service. And we had no doubt that if we had a chance to present our case in a court of law, that they would see through the one last con that Alec Murdaugh was trying to pull. And they did, and we're so grateful for that. I get to, to lead uh, the state grand jury section in the attorney general's office. This particular case is not a state grand jury case. There are other indictments that are state grand jury. But the one thing about that is, is that I have an amazing team. And I want to be clear, this was a team effort. Y'all saw all of these folks behind me uh, doing amazing work. And I can't be prouder of a team in my life. We called this our Super Bowl. And not because of the media attention, but just because of the effort that we knew that we would have to put into this. And we didn't really get to watch much of the Super Bowl that went on because when we arrived, I think it was winter and it feels like spring now. But every single member of this team, every single member of the state grand jury staff, what we do well is work together as a team in complex investigations. And who we work with is my partners at SLED. And I can't thank them enough as well because we're used to working on these complex cases and working uh, together. And I'm not leaving out Sheriff Hill and the Colleton County Sheriff's Office and our federal partners in Orangeburg and Charleston Sheriff's Office and all the other agencies that have worked on this case. I also want to thank Ms. Becky if she's still up there because she's been amazing. Uh, the, cl the clerk staff has been amazing. The court staff has been amazing. The bailiffs have been amazing. And again, I also want to thank this community who really has embraced us and, and has been so great to us and made us able to survive uh, this process that has been long and arduous. And I haven't been sleeping. I hadn't, I hadn't been. <laughs> And, and I have been eating more than kind bars every now and then. But, and I'm sure that's a nice plug for kind. But anyway, um, it really has been a, a great process. We will have sentencing tomorrow. Obviously, we're not going to comment on sentencing because that's still pending. Uh, but justice was done today. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter how much money you have or people think you have. It doesn't matter what you think how prominent you are, if you do wrong, if you break the law, if you murder, then justice will be done in South Carolina. And I think South Carolina has shown to the nation and the world how a process can work and work well. Thank you all.